Okay, hi everyone. So I'm going to speak English on this video because I think uh, the, the, most of the audience understand English. So the ship is crashed here, and we've seen the trail go in this direction. There, the video I showed you on Friday is from this place, which is called Rivière des Creoles. Okay, today I've decided to go a bit more north to see where uh, the oil is heading. Okay. So there is this place called Bois des Amouettes, where the heavy oil has been sort of uh, accumulated today. Uh, you can see some lighter oil on the surface there, the petrol. And here uh, you're seeing uh, the um, SMF installing, getting ready to, to install um, floating buoys made by volunteers. There's a lot of volunteers working. I haven't been able to to film them yet I'm planning to do that uh, during the course of the week uh, tomorrow maybe I'm going to get uh, two hours of sleep and head back there again uh, in a couple of hours actually and um, so I really wanted to get this video up and running because um, otherwise I've gone out today for nothing and uh, I really wanted to give you a progress of where the, the, the oil spill is actually so this is at Bois des Amouettes uh, there's the, I went there in the afternoon and, and you see the, the, the SMS, SMF have cleaned up a big portion of it. Uh, when you turn around you can really see um, the color of the petrol on, on the surface of the water. And when you look up to the horizon you see what dire situation we're in because um, you're going to see that all this oil, all this petrol is coming from the reefs. So the, the ship has leaked outside of the reefs and it's moving upwards uh, on the reef. You see all these traces that you see there, all of these, uh, it's the oil on the surface of, of the water. All of it, the whole area is littered with it. And if you look further up down there, I'm going to try to zoom. So yes, that is the ship which is right there. Okay, so... Uh, now let's get back to uh, further up. This is, we leave uh, Bois des Amouettes and we go to uh, this other spot which is uh, right here and uh, okay let's go it's further up here so which is right here and this is called Petit Sable and let's go up again and see what the situation is there so Again, you've got traces, lots of traces of uh, oil incoming from, from the reefs there. You can see it, it, it it's uh, shining on, over the surface of, of the water. Um, so there we go, that's on one side. I'm going to, to turn the drone around and check out the other side. Okay, there we go. And this is where um, the aquaculture is on the other side there we're going to to go on, on top of, of of that aquaculture building in the next shot uh, okay so sorry i haven't had time to do some proper editing uh it's 2 a.m in the morning so that's what you get i'm sorry about that and um okay so now this is uh looking south so leaving pretty sub we're going to go to point of feuille which is the uh, La Ferme Marine de Maribourg and uh, okay if you go on the, the, the actual website you can you can see how this this uh, looked before so on robsvision.mu on my website so now this today it looks like this with lots of trails so I, I'm wondering what's going to happen to all this fish in this aquaculture if the government is looking into that and there's also a nice ship there that I think that could be used to transport the, the patrol Maybe the ship could be brought next to the Wakashio and the helicopters can offload uh, the tons of oil they remove into it. So let's go, let's go back um, further up now. Um, this place, I've got some footage from there as well. Look at just the, the layout of the area here. It looks like a place where the fuel can come and get stocked there, you see. Okay, so this is what we see from there. You see that all the petrol is heading into this area. You can see all the way up there as well and fortunately it doesn't seem to go beyond that north it just seems to stop there okay now let's look inside the bay and you see the the traces go all the way up to the shores there 
and down here you can see tracers and they've attempted to stop them with the uh, floating boys and it goes all the way around the entire coast and you can see more of it here it's all over the place okay now let's look at the layout uh, 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 no let's move um, to the last point where I got some images which is here okay let's jump into the, the, the shot okay. the, this is from inside the bay where you can see clearly all uh, the Earl's village uh, getting engulfed into the bay and further up there as we zoom in uh, from the reefs, we, we can see the, the oil coming in there, but it stops right at this point in the middle of the screen. It doesn't go further up because it hasn't reached further up yet. Uh, yet. So if we go back to the map, we see the uh, Ilocef, which is right here, and we see that uh, the structure of, of, of the sea is like a, a barrier here. So if we place boys all around this place here, for the whole length of it, we might be able to stop the oil from going to Ilosef, unless, of course, uh, the oil is coming in from the reefs from up there as well, which uh, I'm not sure we can do much about. So there you go, everyone. Thanks for watching. Uh, let's hope we can really stop this oil from getting to Ilosef. Bye-bye.